Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, keeping it free, not blogspot.com, richarddwyer.com. Today is November the 9th, 2017. Bitcoin's SegWit 2 proposal has now gone up in smoke, right? It wasn't voted upon because there wasn't enough of a consensus. This morning, I've posted on keepingitfree.blogspot.com an article from International Business Times entitled Dash Transactions Now 215 Times Cheaper Than Bitcoin. It's written by Ian Allison. Let me just point out a few things. And full disclosure, I own some Bitcoin. I own Dash. I own some Bitcoin cash. I'm very concerned about the fact that Bitcoin is so expensive in terms of transaction costs and more importantly is so slow in terms of transaction speed, right? In my opinion, Bitcoin really has taken itself out of the race as a cryptocurrency to use in everyday transactions. And by that I mean buying a cup of coffee, buying a gallon of gas, right? Using it to make the payments you make in your everyday lives. Well, let me just say, Dash has rolled out a software upgrade. It's 12.2. And just to understand that Dash, which is much better run than Bitcoin. And if you're going to invest in a cryptocurrency, please look into that cryptocurrency's governance. You'll find that certain cryptocurrencies, right, Zencash, Pivx, Dash, um, have systems where holders of the coin can actually vote on things. With Dash, it's masternodes. You have to have a thousand Dash to be able to vote. But just to understand, these coins have a huge advantage in reaching consensus over Bitcoin, which can't even agree to SegWit 2, right? So Bitcoin right now is underperforming in terms of actual performance as a currency, some of its competitors. Let's talk about Dash, for example. Did you know that Dash, because it's upgraded its block size to two megabytes, did you know that Dash can now confirm 48 transactions per second, which is far greater than Bitcoin 7? Why are people paying so much for Bitcoin if it can't match Dash in terms of network capacity? Did you also know that Dash charges roughly 2.8 cents? for an instant send transaction that can be processed in under five seconds, right? Think about it. This is much less than the cost of Bitcoin, <laughs> much less. And the transaction is almost instantaneous, right? So my question to the Bitcoin community and to new investors in cryptocurrency who are thinking about investing in Bitcoin, why aren't you looking around to Bitcoin's competitors and why aren't you judging Bitcoin on its performance versus its competitors? Let me also point out to the obvious. Bitcoin leaves your information on a public ledger. Did you know that Dash actually gives you the option to have the transaction be confidential? In other words, there are privacy aspects to Dash that Bitcoin can't match at any transaction speed. And of course, I hope you understand that Bitcoin can't match Dash on transaction speed or on price, right? So. We're in the early stages of the development of the cryptosphere. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency. It's the most popular. It has the biggest market share. All of that said, technology has passed it by. I have no idea what the Bitcoin community is doing 
being so sluggish to adopt change, right? Let's just say Shitoshi Nakamoto, if he were, let's say, socially available, if he were commenting on cryptocurrency, I think he would be appalled by the lack of advancement in Bitcoin versus its peers. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. The reason I own Bitcoin simply is because it's been a great investment vehicle. I understand when you talk cryptocurrency to people who are new to the realm, they think of Bitcoin first. But please, don't confuse that with Bitcoin being the best cryptocurrency. It pales in comparison feature-wise, for example, to Dash. Again, at keepingitfree.blogspot.com, just look for the article I've posted called Dash Transactions Now 215 Times Cheaper Than Bitcoin, right? If Bitcoin is more expensive than using credit cards and paper fiat currency for small transactions, why do Bitcoin adherents think anyone's going to use it? Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.